Before you begin importing audio into Playout 1, there's something that you need to think about, and here's what it is. I'm going to click on System Settings up here, and on the first screen, you see this little box here that says Import Audio to the Audio Folder. When you import audio into Playout 1, it's going to do some processing. It's going to set some fade points at the beginning and the end of the audio. And probably you will want to normalize the audio because you have many audio files that are perhaps at different levels and you want everything to sound nice and smooth on the air. So uh, in the normalization process, Playout 1 will bring everything up to one consistent sound level. So it will do something to the MP3 files. Perhaps you want it to leave your master MP3 files alone. Or perhaps you don't. Now here's why that becomes a question. Let me close this. And here is my audio files. I keep my audio files on a D drive. And in the D drive, I have a subfolder named Library. And inside the library, I have folders of different types of, of songs. I have one called Beatles. And in the Beatles, I have an MP3 of A Hard Day's Night. When I import that into Playout 1, I can either leave this file here, or Playout 1 will make a copy of the file, which it will keep in its own folder. The path here is Program Files, Playout 1, Data, Audio. Now, this is the same song, but it's a copy of it. Playout 1 has given it its own internal uh, cart number, which is how Playout 1 is going to find and play that song. But this is the same song, and it's two copies. Now, we can have Playout 1 leave just the one copy here. When it's doing its playing, it will be playing this master from my D drive. Or, I can tell it to bring the audio into the Playout 1 folder. Now what will happen is this would make the data on my C drive pretty large, ultimately, depending on how many, uh, how many tracks that I get in here. Um, and depending on the size of your C drive, that could be something of a consideration. My C drive right now is... Uh, I've got about 14 gigs left. And I have about a gig, gig and a half worth of audio files that I might want to bring into Playout 1. So think about that before you do your first importing. Uh, most efficiently, fastest, would be to have Playout 1 make copies of your audio files and put it into the Playout 1 folder on the C drive. And that does not necessarily have to be done, though. So think about that before you begin your importing. Make a decision and stick with it.